Uranus is on a collision course with Earth, and we only have 30 days to prepare. How did this happen? Well, Uranus is a gas giant, and gas giants are notoriously unstable. They're constantly changing size and shape, and they produce a lot of methane gas. Uranus is no different. In fact, it's the most unstable gas giant in our solar system. But what caused Uranus to become so unstable? Let's explore this possibility in this question. What would happen if Uranus and Earth collided? Uranus became unstable and is heading towards our planet. How? Scientists believe it was a massive collision with another planet. This epic collision changed Uranus's orbit, and now it's heading straight for Earth. If Uranus collides with the Earth, the impact will be devastating. The ice giant is twice the size of Earth, and its methane gas will cause global climate change. Not to mention the horrific stink. Uranus smells like rotten eggs. We have to do something to stop this. What will happen if Uranus collides with Earth? What would it mean for our solar system? Let's take a step back and explore this possibility. Uranus has had a tough time in the reputation stakes over the years. Its name alone is the source of many jokes. The fact that it's so far away from the Sun, 2.9 billion kilometers, is one of the reasons it has been so lonely and misunderstood. Unlike its flashy siblings Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus has only had one visitor, a brief flyby by the Voyager 2 spacecraft in 1986. All the inner planets have been known since ancient times because they're easy to spot in the night sky, but Uranus was the first planet to be discovered, and even then astronomers thought it was a comet or a star. If William Herschel had his way in 1781, our seventh planet would have been named Georgium Sidus, or George's star, after his patron King George III. As a result, Uranus has always been something of an outsider, and it's no wonder that it has struggled to shake off its unlucky reputation. But enough about this giant planet, let's get to the Uranus in the room. Let's roll back 30 days, when things were still normal. Uranus lived a quiet life on the outskirts of our solar system, about 3 billion kilometers, or 1.9 billion miles away from us, and then suddenly it began to move closer. Astronomers would be the first to push the panic button. By their calculations, it would take Uranus 13 years to reach the collision point. We'd be short on time, but at least we'd have a slight chance to evacuate the Earth. But the cold blue giant had other plans in mind. Many think we should have seen it coming. Uranus is, after all, the Roman god of chaos and disorder. But how could this happen? Planets just don't spin out of their orbits and move. Scientists believe it was a massive collision with another planet. This epic collision changed Uranus's orbit, and now it's heading straight for Earth. This is not the first time something like this has happened to Uranus. Uranus is famously the weirdest planet in our solar system. It's tilted on its side. It has an unusually long day, and it's home to some of the strongest winds in the known universe. But why is Uranus so strange? A new study offers a fascinating explanation. Uranus's oddities may be the result of a colossal collision that took place billions of years ago. Researchers believe that Uranus was hit by an object approximately twice the size of Earth, which led to the planet's extreme tilt and other peculiarities. Now, after its collision, Uranus would be hurtling through our solar system with speeds up to 1,500 kilometers per second. Because of this, Uranus is on a collision course with Earth, and we only have 30 days left. The ice giant would shine like a bright blue star in the sky, and every day it would appear bigger and brighter. Our sky would look gorgeous, not only because of the ice giant shining down on us, but also thanks to many shooting stars, only those wouldn't be stars at all. To get to the Earth's orbit, Uranus would have to pass by an asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. This would disrupt the stable orbits of many asteroids and throw some of them our way. So while Uranus's collision with Earth would be beautiful, it would also be deadly. Enjoy the show while you can. These asteroids can grow to be as large as 240 kilometers or 150 miles in diameter. 
That's several times the size of the one responsible for the extinction of dinosaurs 65 million years ago. We'd be stuck with nowhere to go. We'd be stuck here, seeing the end of the world happen in front of our eyes. Why not take in the scenery? Uranus would be around the same size as the moon by the time the first asteroids emerged as shooting stars. It would, however, increase swiftly as it got closer. Uranus would start stirring things up while you were here waiting for humanity's demise. But let's not get too dramatic and understand what Uranus would do while colliding with Earth. If Uranus were to collide with Earth, the results would be catastrophic. Uranus is nearly 15 times more massive than our planet, meaning that its volcanoes could erupt uncontrollably, causing widespread destruction and loss of life. Earthquakes would also wreak havoc, collapsing buildings and infrastructure, and the stink would be unimaginable. Uranus's atmosphere is mostly composed of hydrogen sulfide, which has a foul odor like rotten eggs. Imagine an entire planet enveloped in this smell. The thought of it is enough to make anyone nauseous. The gravitational pull of Uranus would cause volcanoes to erupt and earthquakes to occur, destroying Earth from the inside. In addition, the atmosphere of Uranus is composed mostly of hydrogen sulfide, which would produce a nauseating smell as it engulfed Earth. The thought of such an event is daunting, but it is important to be aware of the potential dangers of our solar system. Uranus is known for being the coldest and most unusual planet in our solar system. Uranus is so different from the other planets that scientists believe it was actually created in a different part of the solar system and then later captured by our sun's gravity. Uranus is much larger than Earth, but it's made mostly of ice and gas. It has 27 moons and its atmosphere is filled with methane gas, which gives Uranus its blue-green color. And Uranus would not arrive by itself it would be accompanied by all 27 of its moons, and those moons would collide with the Earth from all directions. Uranus is much more massive than Earth, so it would easily crush our planet. Additionally, Uranus has a very dense atmosphere, made mostly of methane gas. This gas is highly flammable, so when Uranus collides with Earth, the impact would ignite the methane gas and cause a giant explosion. Uranus's collision with Earth would also send a shockwave through our planet that would damage the crust and possibly even trigger earthquakes and volcanoes. Finally, Uranus's collision with Earth would change our planet's orbit around the Sun. Our planet would become one of Uranus's moons orbiting around the ice giant. Uranus, on the other hand, would not get away with this attack so easily. It toppled over the last time it impacted with another planetary object twice the size of Earth. Uranus is the only planet in our solar system that rotates on its side. This is due to a massive collision with another planetary object early in the formation of the solar system. The last time Uranus experienced a similar collision was with an object twice the size of Earth. This resulted in Uranus being toppled over onto its side. If Uranus were to experience a similar collision with Earth, it is likely that Uranus would be tipped back onto its side. This impact featuring our planet's home might possibly tip it back to its former state. However, this would also be the end of Earth if we know it. The impact would be so catastrophic that all life on Earth would be annihilated. The remnants of our planet would be left to rot in the dark depths of space. But that would be the end of the Earth as we know it, if for some inexplicable reason, life on Earth's rotting remnants resurfaced, we'd see the blue of Uranus on the horizon. So what do you think about this possibility of Uranus colliding with our beautiful planet? I know it's a slim chance, but still, why not? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And